one thing right, it was you and me. Hi guys, my name is Nahima, if you are new here, and welcome to my booktube channel where I talk about all things romance books, and today we are starting a vlog because I'm about to go home. If you don't know, I am away at school right now, and yesterday I had my last in-person finals. Today I am now going home, and I'm so excited to be home with my family and be with everyone for the holidays, but I have goals. Because if you aren't following me on Instagram, I talk about it on there a lot, but I currently have in the year 2022 I have read 107 books, but my goal is 144 books Which means I have 30 something books to read before the end of the year and today is December 13th and another one of my goals is to finish every book that is in my Kindle Unlimited library before the new year just because I like starting the new year with a fresh start, new books. I like to like just finish reading everything that I've read that I'm currently reading before the new year because I don't want to enter the year. I just like having fresh starts and so that is what I'm going to be doing in this vlog is finishing every book that I have on KU and it's going to be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. I will run through all of my books that I have a little bit later. My train leaves at 310. It's currently 1.30. So I have to finish like cleaning up and packing everything. I'm for the most part packed up. Like this is like, I need to like vacuum and stuff, but my suitcase is. So I just wanted to start the vlog here, show you guys all of the books that I would like to read in this vlog. And there's a lot of them, but they are really good books. They are really, really good books. Um, according to everybody so yeah, I'm excited follow along. Can we do it? I'm gonna try I want to do this and within the span of a week It's currently Tuesday and I'm probably gonna stop the vlog next Tuesday, especially my grandparents are coming in Next Tuesday, so it would just be kind of a lot if I um, were to finish all reading all of everything before my like family comes into town. That's what today's video is. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. And we're going to try to read all of my Kindle Unlimited books. Fingers crossed. So I wanted to show you guys the books that I have now. Um, number one, I have Carnal Urges by JT Jessinger. These are basically going to be the books that were in my December TBR, if you saw that, because I basically just listed everything that I have off of KU. But I have Carnal Urges, which I have started, but I'm finding myself having to go back and restart, which is really irritating. But I do really want to read that. Does It Hurt by H.G. Carlton. I believe H.G. Carlton's newest release. It's a dark romance. I also started that one. I'm probably just going to go back and restart it. I have The Isle of Sin and Shadow, Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt, Twisted Lies, Pen Pal. Icebreaker, Indigo Ridge, When Gracie Met the Grump, which that one I'm probably not going to get to. Um, when Heroes Fall, God of Malice, What Was Meant to Be, The Naked Fisherman started, and I started God of Malice as well, and these two. It's really sporadic here. What Was Meant to Be by QB Tyler, um, The Naked Fisherman, The Naughty, The Nice, and The Nanny, which is Devney Perry's like holiday novellas. I want to read all of them because they're super short and can get me to my reading goal. We have The Loner's Lady, which is a novella by Jessica Kane. No Thank You by, who is this one by? Alexandra Warren. So we have that one. That one's a like Thanksgiving novella. And then we have Anastasia by Sophie Lark, which, which I have the arc for, but I wanted to listen to it on KU with um, Texas Speech Audio. So yeah, those are the books that I am going to try to read in this video. Um, wish me luck. I know you guys have been telling me to read a lot of the books here. So I'm excited to like vlog my experience reading them. I don't know how in depth I'll be just because we have so many books here to get through. But we're going to try. I think today on the train and like during my like travel day or whatever i think i'm gonna read carnal urges like it's just been here for too long i think that's the book that i have the most read i have 10 percent read of that but i'm just gonna restart it on the uh train and try to get through it okay so i'm switching over to my phone now because i had to pack away my camera and all of that but i decided to change my book i decided i'm gonna read funny feelings first because if I see one more person talk about how cute it was and how amazing it was, I'm going to lose my mind. Like, I just need to know. So I think I'm going to do that one on the train. Um, it's only like a two-hour train ride, which sucks because I won't be able to get much listening in. But I'm about to order the Uber, so I'll probably listen to it like Alexa text speech audio and then listen to it on my way home. I was watching Brie from In Love and Words. She's doing like Vlogmas and she mentioned it um, and how amazing it was. And I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going to read that. So that's what I'm doing. Place, dispatch your phone. 
look like death but as you can see different place i'm at home you might recognize that bookshelf over there but yeah i'm home now and i will be home for a month and i'm so happy to just spend all my time reading and not worrying about school and like reaching my goodreads goal because i do not have time last night i read a little more funny feelings and i am i was kicking my feet and squealing girls like it was yes i was loving my life i was reading that and just like so happy i was so in like it was it's so cute so basically we have our comedian her name is farley and it kind of i was so far from what i read which isn't a lot but it goes back from 38 months ago to like now and 38 months ago is when uh farley and meyer met and meyer is a comedian just like farley farley is a comedian and she's becoming super successful and getting her name out there and meyer is also a comedian but he took a step back from all of that like after um he just took a, took a step back. He's kind of like a mystery to the media. Like nobody really knows much about him, but he did take Farley on as a client. So now he like manages her, I guess. And so basically Farley is invited to tour, to do a, like a comedy tour with two really famous comedians. She's invited and she's super excited, but in order to create like PR and like buzz, they want her to fake date someone because each there's two other girls in the four have like reasons to be talked about but farley really doesn't which sucks because she's great as a comedian but um they're like you should fake date meyer and so that's what it is meyer's like oh, you really don't need this like you're funny on your own like you don't need any added things to your list of amazingness um, but he agrees because if she doesn't, then she would have dated a football player, like fake dated a football player. And he's like, no, I don't want you to do that. So, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I haven't gotten much to the, like into the fake dating of it all yet, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it's so cute. I'm going to commit to this so hard. And like, he's like, I'm committing to it. So like, it's just so good. Like, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like this could be a potentially potential favorite book of the year so i'm really excited i'm gonna keep reading it and i will update you guys also today i'm just like i kind of also i don't know half of me wants to just sit here and read this book all day um but another half of me just wants to film i have a collab video with Fraylise coming out that goes up on thursday so tomorrow so i really do need to film that one um and maybe i'll film a few other videos and take pictures for the gram um but basically it's just going to be a content day because i have time to do so and i really want to get that all in before my grandparents come so yeah that's your updates for funny feelings i'm really really enjoying it and i will update you guys a little bit later with what else is going on it's another day as you can tell we're gonna make this clip very short so it is currently raining and kind of snowing a bit so i've just been enjoying my time reading and i ended up finishing funny feelings by tara dewitt and i decided that i'm going to rate it 3.5 stars it was good i did enjoy it but i did find myself bored oftentimes than not i just don't really care about comedy like that and so much of this book was comedy and so that definitely aided in me being um bored i don't know like it was a good time it truly was i just i don't know 3.5 stars is still pretty good in my book i would definitely recommend it i so many people love and rave about it so like it's clearly a good book and it had amazing tropes it's workplace romance friends to lovers fake dating they have to fake start fake dating because she's going on tour with these women um there's single dad which we love i don't know it was just it was fine it was fine it was better than fine but it's definitely not an all-time favorite so now it's time to pick a next book to read so honestly it is so satisfying to sit here and like remove the books after i'm done with them like that is so much fun but like none of these books are really interesting me i don't know and i know that once i get into them they'll be good it's just that like i'm bored with my options i've been looking at them for so long that i'm like Ugh, you know but that's exactly why i need to read them so i think i'm just gonna finally listen to the entirety of carnal urges by jt jessinger and when i say listen i don't have the audiobook but i listen to it with um text to speech audio alexa so i've been doing a lot of things around my house like i just cleaned my bathroom and organized all my products in here since i'll be home more than a month my mom wanted me to like clean out the pantry so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna listen to carnal urges and hopefully get really far into it carnal urges is 
follows the best friend from the first book, which was Ruthless Creatures, I believe. And so it's her best friend, Salone. Salone's a really girly girl. She loves just girly things and she loves men and she has always kind of had like a revolving door of men. She gets bored very easily. So I think she gets like taken by one of the mafia bosses because in the last book she accidentally started a little bit of a mafia war and it's a romance between her and her captive. I think his name is Declan. People love this book guys. People love it. So I'm excited to see if I do. It's taking me so long to get into this book. I'm 10% into it because I started it so long ago, but I think I'm just going to kind of like restart and yeah, I will keep you guys updated with my thoughts. Hopefully I'll be looking better and I've also have to shower and stuff. I edited a video today, which I'm very happy about. My video, my collab video with Braylise, we did a Mafia Romance Club is out. That went out today. So if you haven't seen that already, go check that out. And yeah, I'm just going to read Carnal Urges and I will update you guys in a little bit. Guys, guys, guys. Okay. I... I'm laying down. I'm so sorry, but I am so obsessed with what is the what is the, I think it's carnal urges All the names are blurring together, but carnal urges I think oh My gosh, I'm so obsessed. I have to update you guys so I was right She gets kidnapped she gets kidnapped Sloan because at the end of the first book there was like a big mafia war that happened they were like two different sides were like shooting at each other and then Sloane gets kidnapped. She gets kidnapped because this guy named Declan of the Irish mob, he was like, you started this mafia war, like we need to figure out what you know. So they kidnap her to bring her back to like their leader or whatever. But on their way bringing, bringing her to their leader, he gets killed. So now Declan's the leader and Oh my gosh, it is so much fun. Like, ugh, you guys were right. You guys, you guys were freaking right. So basically, like, they have such amazing banter. Like, she is not, like, the simple, like, scared little captive. Like, no, she's, like, fighting back, but, like, with humor and her sarcasm. And, like, she has everybody wrapped around her, like, little finger. All of Declan's men are, like, her besties now. He's, like, you're driving me crazy, but, like, ugh. It's so good. Like, I'm loving it. I am think I'm about 50% of the way into the book, which is crazy. I swear I didn't just lay here all day and read this book. I, like, got up and organized my pantry. I... Is that all I did? No, I did something else. I know I did something else. I think. I can't remember. But it's currently 5.54, so almost 6 o'clock. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this book tonight just because I'm loving it. They just had... I just read the first smut scene that they have and... But it's so good. It's so freaking good. Like, I love it so much. And, like, De I've never read a character like Sloane. And I love how S Sloane and Declan are so similar, but also very different. But, like, uh, I love it. 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 And I'm so excited to read the rest of the series now. But, yeah. Sorry I've not been updating you guys a lot. And it's really just been, like, updates. Not really any montage clips. But maybe we'll get more into that. I'm probably going to get up soon, figure out dinner, and organize my bookshelves because right now they look like ass. They look terrible. But I'm loving this book. It's honestly feeling like a favorite of the year. Is that too soon? Is that too bold of me? I don't know. But I'm loving it so much. And yeah, I will keep you guys updated a little bit later when I finish the book. I'm sorry. I just put down the camera, but Mans is so, like, dick whipped. <laughs> I don't even know if it's, like... Wait a minute, that did not make sense. I, I realized my error. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, what I'm saying is he's whipped. He's whipped as hell. And that's all I've got to say. He's making me so happy. We have not talked <laughs> since last night and I have reading updates for you guys. So I decided I'm gonna do my skincare while talking to you guys about, sorry in advance for the lighting, you're right next to a lamp, but it's very dim. Since we talked last night, I have, done a lot of reading and also a lot of removing books last thing you heard was that i was loving carnal urges and i ended up finishing carnal urges last night it was phenomenal and i honestly think it's one of my favorites of the year next to like ruthless creatures everybody said that sloan's book is better than the first one and honestly i have no idea which one i like more 
they were both just so good but especially this one in my review on goodreads i literally talked about how i am manifesting someone exactly like declan not in the mafia obviously really like that book i rated it five stars and honestly i think it's a favorite of the year everything about it was just perfect i loved the way that declan treated salone he literally worshipped the ground that she walked on like he was whipped he was so unbelievably whipped and so in love with her now for the other reading updates so i got rid of a lot of books out of my kindle unlimited little folder so i got rid of one hero's fall because that was supposed to be a buddy read with reagan from rary reads on booktube and instagram she doesn't really make booktube content anymore but my friend if you've been following me for a while, you probably know who Reagan is. But we were supposed to buddy read One Hero's Fall like a few months ago. We just never did. And I'm not going to go ahead and read it without her. I mean, I could, but I'm not super interested in reading it right now anyways. Then I removed When Gracie Met Grump by Mariana Zapata because same kind of saw it and i instantly downloaded it because hello mariana zapata like, i'm not super pressed to read that one and it hasn't been like bothering me then i decided to dnf icebreaker by hannah grace because i wasn't feeling that one icebreaker is like a hockey and figure skater romance and i i think i got like 38 percent of the way into that book i simply decided that it's just honestly just not for me bored for the entirety of the book and honestly, the only reason why I kept reading it was because the hero's name <laughs> is the name of somebody that I was talking to, was talking to. Now that name makes me sick. Stopped reading it, naturally. Another thing that justified my opinion, my thoughts of just like DNFing it was um, Jess from Peace of Books was talking about how she also DNFed it because it was boring. And I was like, I agree. And then I went on Goodreads and the amount of people who DNF'd it, I'm like, why am I putting myself through this? So I just went ahead and DNF'd that at like 38%. Then I read Santa Baby by Cassie Mint. And I'm not sure if that one was in the initial, when I showed you guys everything that was in my Kindle Unlimited library. I can't remember if that one was in it, but I was watching one of Brie from In Love and Words, one of her Vlogmas vlogs. She had read um, Santa Baby and i honestly really liked it it's like a girl and she works at this bar and it's a really it's a romance between her and boss who is jack and he's like a really nice sweet kind of santa like guy and he owns a bar that's kind of like Christmassy themed and he's just really sweet and he like has been helping her since she was a teenager she's in love with him and then finally i think it's on christmas eve she's like this is happening between us. It's a really short, fun novella, so I enjoyed that. I think I gave it either four or three stars, three or four stars, can't really remember. Then I read Loner's Lady by Jessica Kane. Fine as well. Like, it was fine. This is definitely not one of my favorite I've ever read in my life. It's Best Friend's Father. So she's like fake dating her best friend because they're going to go, he has to go visit his dad. The dad is not convinced, like right when he, right when he meets them, he's like, there's no way they're dating. And it's a romance between the dad and her. I gave that one three stars because it's like, whatever. I read The Wrong Blue Eyes by B.B. Reed. And this was like a holiday novella that she released last year. I was like, oh, I'm trying to reach my Goodreads goal. Let me read this. That one's fine. She has a boyfriend named Pax. They get into a lot of fights. Aren't really ever on the same page of things. They go to go visit Pax's family. The entire time they're fighting on the way there and she ends up hooking up with his twin brother so it's like the wrong blue eyes is like his twin brother i think i rated that one four stars i'm kind of getting bored of novellas just because i've been reading so much of them to reach my goal i got rid of a few other things there was like a thanksgiving novella i was like let me just remove that because when i like have novellas just on my phone i don't care for them anymore i have to like download see them download them in the moment and then get into them and then it just annoys me if it sits there. And that Thanksgiving novella has been there since Thanksgiving. And then I also got rid of Devney Perry's novella. I think it was called like, again, I'll have a picture here. She has three or four of these little like Christmas holiday novella books. Definitely want to read them and I probably will read them. Same with the Alexandria Warren one or the Thanksgiving novella. But um, right now I just need to see what I need to read for this vlog. And those ones are annoying me. I also removed Anastasia by Sophie Lurk because I have that as an arc. I'm about to look like a glazed ass donut because I'm slugging. Finished Magnolia Parks today as well. I started reading this one in August and I was really into it actually. But I got 88% of the way into it and I just for some reason put it down. I have no idea why. So I just finished the last little bit. And I did, and there was a huge plot twist in the end. I was literally so shook, and 
to say that i am excited for the next few books is an understatement like i'm so excited for the next few books but i'm gonna read them next year and just um try to get them all down packed finish all the books i'm currently reading finish all the books in my kindle unlimited library and then next year i can have a fresh start and then finally i removed pen pal by jt jessinger as you guys know I loved Colonel Urges, I really did. I removed Pen Pal because I'm not super pressed to read that one either right now. And I'm really just like focusing on books that I've already started. Maybe I'm 15% of the way into it. Maybe I'm 30% of the way into it. But because I haven't started Pen Pal yet, I was like, you're good. You're good to just be over there in the corner. Like I don't need to read you right now before the end of the year. Yeah, those are your updates. I'm trying my freaking hardest. Like get these Kindle books read. Like I'm just so sick of them. I really, really am. I would kind of call myself a cheater because I have removed a lot of the books, but I'm going to be honest. Those books just aren't going with what I have going on here right now like i wasn't super pressed to read the mariana spada i have the arc of, of anastasia i'm not pressed to read right now and that i can read in the new year i think tonight it's only 9 38 and i'm doing my skincare like if this does not scream grandma i don't know what is i think i'm kind of in the mood to just finish indigo ridge by Devony perry i'm currently 15 percent of the way into that book we're gonna read it this might be one that i end up dnfing i know how beloved indigo ridge is i do but like i just wasn't really vibing with the first 15 percent like it was fade to black ish which is fine i don't always need so much smut but like also i'm not sure how, how much i'm invested in the whole crime aspect thing of it all and i know all these are kind of like romance suspense novels with like you try to figure out what's going on in there which i'm not super interested in but who knows everybody loves it and they say that it's really good so i think i'm gonna stick through stick it through this one is only 324 pages so yeah i can finish this between tonight and tomorrow yeah i will keep you guys updated i'm gonna go make myself some tea and just like relax and read and try to get these books read so if you're wondering what is here i'm gonna kick myself in the butt for showing you guys this um because who knows if these are gonna be in here tomorrow because i might remove them but i still have does it hurt the isle of sin and shadow twisted lies indigo ridge god of malice and the naked fisherman so <laughs> that's what we got going on i'm gonna read indigo ridge right now and i will up to you guys in a little bit hi guys so i just finished indigo ridge by Daphne Behar by Devony Perry and I decided I'm gonna read it four stars. I realized that I haven't updated you guys at all during this process and I'm very sorry. It's currently Tuesday and I know I said that I would end the vlog like next Tuesday because my grandparents are coming but I decided to keep it going because I'm almost done. I only have I think three more books that I really want to read for this vlog um, and I'm having a fun time vlogging and I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more but yes, I rated Indigo Ridge four stars. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I loved all the small town aspects. I thought it was so like atmospheric and such like a good vibe. I really, what kept me there and what kept me on my toes was the mystery aspect of it all. It was really interesting. So basically we have Willow who just moved to Quincy, which is a small town in Montana, and she's becoming the head of police. She's becoming like the police chief. She's been to Quincy many times before because that is where her dad grew up and her grandpa lives there now. And so she's taking over and basically on her first night there, she ends up having a one night stand with somebody named Griffin. Um, she has no idea who he is, but anyways, she has a fun time. One night stand goes on her first day of the job, a body is found and everybody believes that this body, this person committed suicide. She's not so easily convinced because as she's talking to like more people, there are no signs of her being suicidal. So she was really just curious and wanted to find out, is this actually a suicide? and she wanted to get to the bottom of it. As she's doing all that, she finds out that the guy that she hooked up with on her first night in Quincy, Griffin, he's actually one of like the founding families or like his family is very relevant to Quincy. Their, all their last names are Quincy. So um, yeah, it's a relationship between them. They get off on the wrong foot after like the initial one night stand because um, he doesn't like to hook up with any of the locals. And she thought that she was just like, coming through town like he didn't expect her to stay so now there's a little bit of animosity and um it's kind of like a friends with benefits situation while she's trying to uncover this mystery and that mystery was so good like i was literally at the edge of my seat i 
kept coming up with theories. I was like, no, this happened. No, this happened. Um, but I was wrong every single time. I really, really enjoyed that one. So I gave it four stars. The only thing that I wish there were a little bit more of or what I would have wanted was to be a little bit more of a relationship development between Griffin and Willow. Like, they were literally just hooking up, which we didn't get much of the... It was mostly fade to black, I want to say. Like, the smut wasn't very smutty. Um, but then all of a sudden, they, like, love each other. And they... But they've been... I haven't seen them hanging out. I, I'm like, when did this love develop? Like, this is feel, just feels so out of pocket and random for me for some reason. But yeah, I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I definitely am going to continue with the series. And I just downloaded the Christmas novella that is, like, I think a prequel to all of these other books. So I'm probably going to read that. Now we have three or four other books to read in this vlog. I have no idea when I'm going to end this vlog. Let's be real. I definitely want it to go up um, before Christmas. And before the holidays, discuss the books that I have left on KU. I'm almost done. I have five. Five more books, but I'm telling you right now that I am most likely going to DNF The Naked Fisherman by Julie Ann because I read the first uh 15 percent it looks like and i just am not vibing with it i'm not really vibing with the heroine at all she just doesn't really seem like she's not really fun to read about like she grew up super catholic and in, in a really closed minded thing and now she's meeting and now she's living with this guy because she's visiting her mom i'm just really not interested in that one anymore and i'm just i was pretty much pretty bored so I think I'm going to DNF The Naked Fisherman. Then I also have Does It Hurt Still by H.G. Carlton. I'm 15% 15, 15 into that one. I'm probably going to finish this one. I'm enjoying it. I have The Isle of Sin and Shadow, which I'm only 1% in. I have Twisted Lies. Have not started that one yet. And that's one that I really want to read. And then finally, God of Malice by Rena Kent. And I'm 11% into this one. So these are the four books that I'm really going to focus on. Very happy I finished Indigo Ridge. And now I'm thinking I'm going to step foot into Twisted Lies. Um, everybody says this one is their favorite. And I'm excited to read it. I love a little like billionaire romance. That's all I really know about it. And I'm pretty sure they met in Twisted Hate. Because he like owns the apartment that her that she lives in. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I will keep you guys updated with what's going on with this book. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, I'm done. Like, I can't read anymore. Which I will be reading, but I decided to just end the vlog here. This video needs to go up before the end of the year. And I tried. Will these books still be read by the end of the year? Yes, I'm determined. I don't care. I am reading. Like, I'm just so over it. Like, I can't. They've just been here for too long that I'm sitting there like, ugh. Like, I just, I'm tired of it. And you will read here about, in my December wrap-up, is Does It Hurt by H.G. Carlton, The Isle of Sin and Shadow by Carrie Lake, Twisted Lies by Anna Huang, God of Malice by Rena Kent. I decided I am DNFing The Naked Fisherman because it's just not my vibe right now. I don't care. I'm over it and I'm done. Um, and yeah, those four books will be read before the end of the year. Trust and believe. And you know what? You can check back with me and I will tell you straight to your face that yes, I did read them. So stay tuned for my December wrap up because I'm tired of vlogging. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had fun with me. I know that this vlog is probably so chaotic and just so all over the place. I tried. What can I do? I, I'm filming. I'm filming videos, but I'm over this vlog. I am. What can I say? Um, thanks for spending the week with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon with a new video. <laughs> Bye. If I got one thing right, it was you and me.